monitoring some of these systems to give you guys an idea of what's going on and to help explain as we're going through. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the display on your left shows this car icon, which is currently green, and green means that we're fully autonomous. So while we're in this mode, Gus is sort of ready at the controls, but the car is doing everything for us. Um, this display shows a number of other things, including data from the LiDAR scanners on our roof. Those are the laser-based 3D range measurement devices. And currently we're seeing the points above the ground plane, uh, which we can use to understand where there are other vehicles or people or just generally objects that we need to plan around and take into account with our velocities and our steering. You can also see the prior map, which is sort of the appearance of the world determined by uh, the mapping vehicles. And that allows us to understand where we are in that map and to correctly choose you know, how we should interact on the road network that defines the surface that we're driving on, right? where the intersections are, where the lanes are, things like that. Guys, is the, is the technology selecting the speed right now, or are you still in control of the acceleration? No, 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 we're fully autonomous. Fully. Okay. Yep, so the vehicle was driving cautiously there because we know that there are lots of parked vehicles mm -hmm. on the road. Okay. The vehicle has full control. Okay. I'm merely here as a redundancy. Okay. Yep. So, as we continue down this route, uh, we have a four-way stop. It looks like we won't have any cross-traffic. There may be other intersections where we see cross traffic and you'll get to see right of way um, behavior sort of in effect. Beyond that is a uh, traffic light intersection and we're detecting the red light state up at that intersection. And so when we get there, we'll stop um, if we need to. If it hasn't changed by then, we'll wait for it to change back to green. Is the pedestrian detection that's being done in the computers in the trunk of the vehicle. And we use that pedestrian detection to determine whether or not we should stop at crosswalks. So at this intersection, uh, we want to make sure that everybody who rides today gets to see some pedestrians crossing. So these two pedestrians are with us. At all the other intersections, or all the other crosswalks, um, we only have sort of you know, natural employees going about their day. But here you can see that we're stopping both because people were crossing the road, which we detected from two different sensors, and because the crosswalk lights were lit, uh, which was indicated in the display by those orange and now black boxes. Now in a couple uh, driveways, we're gonna make a right turn behind the electrification and fuel systems buildings so we can circle back to uh, Military Road, which is the road with the lit traffic light we stopped previously. Gus, do your hands get tired after a while here? Um, <laughs> you see, I'm used to it now. We do training. So everybody who, ah. you know, who, who's a safety driver yes. is usually a developer on the team, plus they get extra training for safety. And, you know, Ford is a uh, automotive company after all, so they know a thing or two about driving cars. So we get trained to be safety drivers. So does it work out the uh, forearms and shoulders or what? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. You kind of get used to it, you get into the groove and, and you're good. Yeah. You know? So up ahead, uh, we have a few more curvy turns here, which will allow us to basically choose our velocities to minimize the sort of side forces on the passengers. So we have a nice smooth ride. Is being done as the vehicle is continuously replanning its trajectory and its velocities and desired accelerations for comfort and safety. So you said this is fully autonomous right now, right? Fully right. autonomous. The stop sign up ahead is on Military Road where we turn right. There are a few crosswalks down Military. They differ in sort of what they're connected to. Some crosswalks are on the other side of intersections with four-way stops. One crosswalk is at a stop sign with blinking lights um, that are sort of considered op optional by the typical pedestrian crossing. And the last crosswalk actually has no other signage, so if no one is there, we'll continue with the speed limit. 
Once we get past that, we'll make a left turn back on the village road where there are traffic lights controlling that intersection. I didn't see, did the uh, car do the turn signal too, or did you? Yes, the okay. car is doing everything. Everything. Turn, everything. Everything you see happening right now okay. is being done by the vehicle itself. So you're just a guy sitting there with his hands out. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for safety purposes because right. we are testing on public sure. roads. Right. And this is open to the public, open to our employees. Right. And we have pedestrians, vehicles, everything going on. So I'm sure. just here to ensure safety 100%. Right. So there we waited for uh, the pedestrian to fully exit the crosswalk before we proceeded into the intersection. And I'm seeing that, uh, I, I assume that's uh, the, the camera saying that the, the pedestrians seem to have, need a, a fair bit of clearance before the vehicle will proceed, right? There's, there's no, it's not like they just stepped up onto the curb. Right, we're being conservative here to make sure that we pick up people uh, crossing in both directions. Right enough notice to give them all the space that they need. So we just made that lane change uh, automatically and now we're going to make a left turn. You can see that we have green light detections indicated on display. We knew we had enough space before those oncoming vehicles to make the turn safely. Uh, unlike some other intersections, there's no left turn arrow there, so we don't have guaranteed right of way. I'm going to be redundant and ask you again for video purposes about uh, fully autonomous. You don't mind. Sure, go ahead. So you're driving this, you're not driving this at all. It's fully autonomous. Yes. You're not doing anything. No, this vehicle has full control right now, and I'm merely here as a safety driver because Ford prioritizes safety. But the level of autonomy that Ford is aiming for, based on our uh, press release a couple of weeks ago, is level four SAE autonomous vehicle, which is full autonomy. There is no driver required. So you're not doing this turn signal right now either? Nope. Turn signal, braking, Nothing. acceleration, turning, everything is done automatically by the vehicle itself. Cool, thanks. No problem. <laughs> and so this, All right. this would be a scenario if I was programming in a route via whatever navigation system I have. If I got in my car, I was going somewhere. Right. Basically, You would program the route and the vehicle would know when to turn, where to turn, and it would navigate safely. Thanks so much. Thanks no problem. It was really great. I really appreciate it. Enjoyed it. No problem. Okay.